Hi, welcome back to our channel. Let us have a look at another PSLU question. So ABCD and DBEF are rhombuses. DGC is a straight line, and we have to find two angles, DBG and FDC. So let's see. Well, starting with the first part, DBG. This is the angle DBG. But can I find it in a straightforward manner? No, because even though it is in the triangle BDG, I have one angle missing. So this angle over here. So what can I do? Whenever you get stuck in an angle calculation problem or geometry problem, every time that you have to do just one thing, look up the given information. So in these questions, what are the given information? First, we know A, B, C, D are rhombuses. What are some properties of rhombus? Well, not only it follows the properties of a parallelogram, on top of the properties of a parallelogram, we know all four sides of a rhombus are equal. So let me label it out. Equal, 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 equal. So now you can see that if I slice the diagonal through a, a, a rhombus, what do I get? I will get two triangles, and those two triangles are going to be isosceles. And what's so wonderful about isosceles triangle? We know for an isosceles triangle, let me draw it out. If I have an isosceles triangle, if I know the vertex, the, the angle to the top, then immediately I can get these two base angle because they must be the same. And in these questions, do we get the vertex of this isosceles triangle? Yes, let me circle it out for you. So now we have B, D, C, this as an isosceles triangle. So what can we get from here? Well, I can get this base angle as, let me write it out, angle B, D, C to be simply 180 minus 102 and then divided by 2 because the base angles are the same. And in this case, what I will get, what is going to be the answer? 180 minus 102, then I will get 39. So that tells me this angle. And would I be able to work out DBG from here? Yes, of course. So now let me find out what is the angle DBG. Now, using the property that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180, I can simply take 180 minus 127 and minus 33. And this will give me the answer 14 degree. So that's part A soft. So that's how rhombus, the properties of a rhombus can be applied in this first part. How about the second part? Well, now how am I going to find out the angle FDC over here? And again, we can see the FDC is not in a triangle where I can just work out the angles in a straightforward manner. So again, what do we do? We go to look for the known information, the given information in the questions. Now, beside A, B, C, D is a rhombus, we know D, B, E, F is also a rhombus. Now, in this case, what kind of properties of a rhombus can help us solve the second part? Well, just like a parallelogram, the rhombus, the angles in the rhombus, also following two properties. First, opposite angles are equal, and second, adjacent angles add up to 180. Now, which of this property can help us solve the second part? The first rule. Why? Because we can see that over here, I can get this angle. So the angle BEF is nothing but 360 minus 298, which will simply give me 62 degree. And if this angle is 62, then that means the opposite angle in this rhombus is also 62. So that means this angle should add up to 62 degree. So can we find out FDC? Well, absolutely. Now for FDC, 
This is simply 62 minus 39 that we have just found, which gives me the answer 23 degrees. So that solves the second part. So the main takeaway of this question is that whenever you get stuck in the angle calculation and you don't know where to go, you should start looking for the given information. So always start with given information in the question and what kind of an information would be helpful. While well, we always try to look for those familiar shapes, those common shapes, like isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, parallelogram, rhombus, or sometimes it could also be trapezium. So the next rule of thumb is that we are going to find common shapes. So those are the idea behind solving an angle calculation problem. So that's it for today. If you'd like to learn more about our PSLA class, you can join our study group and you can book a free diagnostic test with our teachers. And that's it for today. I'm Teacher Cedric and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.